Hello everyone and welcome to another Energy Fitness YouTube workout video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Except today we're not working out. No, no. Today we're doing a full body stretch from head to toe. You can do this stretch after any workout. We're going to cover all areas of the body. All you need is some space and a mat and yourself. And otherwise, we're going to be doing 30 seconds per stretch. Moving on, moving through a few different movement patterns, different you know, positions, but 30 seconds per stretch and I'll tell us when to move on to the next stretch. I'll be timing it with my timer, 30 seconds each. So let's get started. All right, it's stretch time. Loosen up those muscles after we just worked them from whatever workout you came from. And if you haven't already, please check out some of my other workout videos here on YouTube. I really appreciate the support and then more and more videos are to come. So stay tuned for arms, dumbbells, full body, no equipment, all kinds of things. I am excited to see you know, where this goes and how many videos I can produce. And not only workout videos, I'm also going to be sharing more about my top surgery, about me, and just about my life. So stay tuned for all of those. All right. Let's get, you know, loose. Let's start warming up. Let's start stretching. So moving through different positions, 30 seconds per stretch. Like I said, let's begin in the cobra stretch. So stretching the abs out here. We're going to be doing static stretching for this workout video. So typically, the clock's on. So typically we do about, uh, well, we do static stretching after we work out, and then we do more dynamic stretching before we work out. Dynamic stretching is just moving while stretching, so to warm up your muscles before the exercise, uh, before uh, exercising. So now we're about five seconds into the cobra stretch here, stretching our core. We're going to push back into the downward dog. Here we go. So in the downward dog, we're stretching our calves, we're stretching our glutes, we're stretching our hamstrings, our back, our shoulders. We're going to hold this for about 15 more seconds. Deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And now from here, we're going to pedal out our calves. If you want to move them a little bit closer, you can. 30 seconds pedaling out the calves. Feeling the stretch all the way down to the ankle, to the back of the knee. Good. Pedaling those calves out. This is a great stretch after you run. Good work. Nice. Next, we're going to flop down into the child's pose. Put your head down, arms out in front. Flip my hat around here. Deep breaths, sinking into those hips. Good work. Deep breaths, stretching in the armpits and the lats. We're going to feed the arm through and stretch the shoulder a bit more. So we're going to hold 30 seconds here. Really good for the back, the shoulders, the chest even. We're going to switch sides in about 10 seconds. Good. And switching sides, putting the arm out in front and feeding the other arm through, leaning into that arm and breathing deep. Good work. Keep holding that. Bring oxygen to the muscles. We're going to switch into the pigeon in three, two, one. So folding the leg under, leaning into it, leaning into that glute. You should feel that on the outside of the glute. 
Deep breaths again. If you want to try to go even lower, get even more of a stretch. And if you actually straighten your foot out in front of you, up here, you'll get even more of a stretch. And switching legs, same stretch. This is a really good one. Definitely incorporate into your stretching regime if you don't already. It's great for the glutes, great for the low back. You can go even lower to get more of a stretch. Good, now we're pushing back into the butterfly. So feet together, chest up, grab those feet and try to flatten those legs. Breathing deep. Good job. Next, we're going to stretch one leg out in front, get some more hamstrings. You can try to sit up a bit more, or if you want to get down even lower, you want to get really deep behind that knee, you'll feel those calves and hamstring muscles meeting behind the knee. Hold that there. Breathe. You can even try bringing your nose closer to your knee. We're going to switch sides. Same stretch. You can stay up for a bit. And then as you feel your muscles stretching, you can lower down into it. Stretching the back. Good. And if you don't want to do this whole video for stretching, that's fine. You can always do some of it. You can do the full thing. You can do two minutes, whatever works for you. All right, I'm going to stretch other leg out in front and then reach. So with those fingers out in front, holding it there, and then you can even try to walk them out a little bit further. You'll feel that stretch in the adductors, low back. The legs out in front, we're going to bring the arm across and stretch the shoulder. We're going to stretch each side. Feeling that pull right here in the shoulder. So pushing each arm into each other to get even more of a stretch. Nice, five more seconds. Keep breathing. And we're switching sides. Same stretch. Pushing arm into the other arm. Feeling that in the shoulder. You can even twist your neck or tilt your neck a little bit to get more of a stretch on the side there. Good. Almost there. Good. Next, we're going to put the arms out behind us. Push that chest forward. You'll feel that in the pecs, shoulders, biceps. At least I do. <laughs> Deep breaths here. Really good chest stretch. You can open the hands up even a bit more to get more in the armpit, more in the pec minor. Good. Then stretching the back, reach out for your feet, push your shoulder blades out, apart from each other, trying to get that oxygen in the back, between those shoulder blades. Good job. Feel that armpits, the lats. Next, we're going to move into an overhead tricep. So just trying to reach those fingers back behind your head, as far down your back as you can. 
My hat's getting in the way here again. Oh. Trying to walk those fingers down even further, pushing that elbow into hand and hand into elbow. And switch arms, same thing. Reach that hand down. You might find there's a difference between sides. Spend a little bit more time on the side that feels tighter. You can also do this full stretch again afterward if it's not enough for you. Nice work. Couple more seconds. Good, all right, now we're rolling down onto the floor. We're gonna bring our knee to chest, stretch our low back here. So pulling that knee to your chest. If you feel it in your hip flexors, that means you need to stretch your hip flexors more. We'll do another stretch for that afterward. Hold that position. And switching legs. You can also go back to the same stretch. Typically when you do the stretch two or three times, by the second or third time, you'll have more range of motion and you'll be able to stretch further, get deeper into the muscle, and just get a better stretch. Keep holding that there. Great for the low back, get a tight low back, do a lot of sitting. All right, switching into the happy baby. So grabbing the feet and pulling them into you, you should feel that in the groin, in your adductors. Nice job. Keep holding that there. Good work. All right, we're gonna hop up, do that low lunge for the hip flexors, like I said. So feet or foot in between your hands, and then you can lean up if you wanna get more of a stretch in that leg. We're gonna do both sides. Nice, we're gonna switch sides. Same stretch, leaning into it, rotating that torso backward to get more of a stretch in that hip flexor. Good work. You can kind of move through it, get it deeper. go back to the same stretch, but we're going to add an upper body element, so just leaning over with that arm, we're going to get a better stretch of the side, the obliques, the lats, the back, and we'll switch into the other side after. Switching sides, same thing. And rotate over. Feel that all the way down the side here. Great job. We're going to stand up after this. Do a couple standing stretches. And just ragdoll hanging over. You can grab your elbows. You should feel a stretch all the way up your legs into your glutes. Those hamstrings, you can also pedal it out if that feels good. Stretching the low back. Now we're going to cross over one foot and reach down. Try to get as low to the floor as you can. This back leg is getting most of the stretch. If you can put your palms down, awesome. 
You can get even lower. Awesome. It's work in progress. I know stretching is work in progress. It takes time. I find once I start stretching, my muscles can give pretty well. Switching sides. Good. You might feel one side more than the other. Your body's trying to tell you, spend more time with me. stretch. You can kind of work through this stretch or sit right down in it, feel that all in the groin. Feels so good. And you can kind of go side to side as well. Get a bit more of a stretch there. Do 30 seconds of the side to side. Good. Working through that. All right, we're going to stand into our quad, getting the front of the hip flexors here, or getting the hip flexors here. The stretch, so pressing the knee into the foot, the knee into the foot, the hand into the foot, and the foot into the hand. We'll switch to the other side. And you can switch legs. You can hold on to something if that helps with balance if you need it. Really feel that in front of the quad there. A few more seconds. We have two more stretches. So chest, putting the arm back and turning away. I'm gonna get really deep into this chest. Muscle here into the shoulder joint. Deep breaths. If you rotate your hands so that your thumb is into the wall, you'll actually be able to stretch your bicep a little bit better. So you can alternate between the two. Switching to the other side. Turn away. Pressing into the wall. your neck, connected to your shoulder, connected to your chest, it all helps. All right, last one, we're going out with a bang. One of my favorite stretches, but maybe a bit more provocative. <laughs> Get right down into these hips. I feel it pushing even into my glutes here. Just hold this position. Breathe, you can kind of work back and forth if that feels good. Let's just hold this here. Awesome. Good work. Held this one a little bit longer just with some movement and then some static. Alright. That's it for the stretch for me today. I hope you got a good stretch. Like I said, you can redo this 
uh, video if you want to get more of a stretch or if you want to redo one of the stretches over again, you can do that. Um, but please check out my other YouTube videos, please share them, tell your friends, subscribe. I appreciate all the support and the more support, the more videos. So thank you again for joining me and I hope you feel loose and ready to take on the rest of your day. Alright, have a good one. Bye!